This is Dan Russell's Sports Talk, Canada's longest-running radio sports show. Here again is Dan Russell. Flames got this game on the way to the circus, 2-2 after three periods. We'll keep you posted on that. Vancouver Sun hockey writer Elliot Papp with us on this Wednesday night for Sensational. What a difference a week and a half makes. Uh, the Canucks have won three straight games. They have points in four in a row. My question is, and it may sound a little silly to you, do you think they're totally out of what they were in? No, I do not. Okay, I agree with you. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you, uh, you know, people say three game win streak. Wow, what are you talking about? They're out of their slump. Well, they're outscoring their problems right now, but they ha- they're having some major problems. On the penalty kill and in goal, uh, Roberto Luongo, supposedly one of the best goalies in the world right now, is, uh, I don't know if I, I guess he, he's playing as poorly now as he did at the end of last year when the team um, couldn't win. Uh, the goals that are going in on them are just uh, raising my eyebrows, Dan. Uh, five-hole goals, unscreened goals, uh, goals that have no business getting in the net or getting through him. He looks like a sieve right now, and I'm not really sure what's going on there because... Uh, we keep reading and hearing what a great goal he is, and he's not getting the job done, but the offense has bailed him out. You know, it's, it's refreshing to hear somebody say it the way it is. I mean, he's just not playing well enough, and you can't sugarcoat it. Uh, like you said, the out, that's a rare game, though, where he could play poorly and they win. Usually that combination doesn't come up. No, it doesn't. And you want to go, you just look at some of the recent goals in the Chicago game. I know that they scored seven for him, but the Havlat goal, how that got in. Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, the first goal last night, a uh, five-hole goal. The fourth goal was a five-hole goal. The uh, third one was a bad rebound. The second one, uh, a great shot by Brad Boyce, but usually it was unscreened and uh, he just uh, either lost his net or whatever. Um, I don't really know, but uh, he hasn't been playing well, and they, they're still winning, but it's uh, mainly due to the Sundin kessler Dimitra line. And, like, it's been a while since Vancouver's had a line that's just piling up the points uh, the way these three have in the last three games. Uh, I'll get back to that in just a second. The Ducks have just won in the circus, so a quick overtime goal there. Anaheim 3, Calgary 2. That's a final. Um, you know, I, I. but do you feel Luongo will get out of it? I mean, I know your colleague Ian McIntyre, you know, he's, he's written, you know, uh, this week about how it, it feels to him like, you know, October – Luongo, notoriously a slow first month player, uh, that that we're revisiting in October, but doing it late in the year because of the injury. Do you feel that he will get out of it, or do you feel that what we're seeing is maybe what we're going to get? No, I, I I think he'll come out of it, but I, I just can't understand why this guy it, he's rated so highly as a goaltender, and why does he keep having all these bad months? He had a bad start to the year last year, a terrible ending poor start this year. He's been poor again now since the comeback from his injury. Why does this guy keep having all these bad months if he's such a good goalie? That's the part I can't figure out. Maybe he's just overrated. Um, I don't know. Uh, he gets on these hot streaks, hot streaks where, you know, he gets the three shutouts in a row. He's done that two years in a row, and he, he looks phenomenal. And uh, he was great his first year here, but he's been really um, inconsistent, and that's quite surprising to me. Yeah. Well, I feel the same way in terms of I, I, I'm sure he'll get out of it. Um, but I'm also sure of one thing, too. I mean, how many times have you heard he's the greatest goalie on the planet and all that stuff? And and I, I think, you know, he's got to still do some proving on that. He, he's certainly right up there. But, you know, he, he's not exactly uh, what people build him as on a night-to-night basis right now. No, he isn't. And, uh, I mean, if you look over his career, he's almost 30 years old, and he's, he's been in the playoffs once and won one playoff round out of two. And, um, you know, he melted down at the end of last year, and we've just brought up now he had a, a poor October, and he's had a poor return from injury now. So that's almost two months of, of the season in which he's played and started a pile of games where he hasn't given them the consistent goaltending they expect. So really, when has he played well? He played well for, what, what three weeks before his injury, and that was about it for the whole year, if you think about it. So it's, uh, you know, maybe that's one of the reasons the Canucks are where they are. Now going to the penalty killing, I, I mean, I, I'm not sure what's a bigger problem. Their goaltending right now, which I think will come around, but PK, and maybe it's all together here as well. Uh, perhaps they're, they're, they're linked. Uh, they are definitely linked. Yeah, I was just going to say, you could take the word perhaps out of there. But it's not totally because of goaltending that the PK is, is bad. So what, what, what are you seeing 